How many sheep does it take to change a light bulb? I don't know, let's find out. One sheep, two sheep, three sheep, four sheep, five. And this is Balloon Animal Lessons number 84. Hello Balloon World, I'm Michael Floyd, your Balloon Twister. And this time I want to teach you how to make a cute little balloon sheep. Isn't this thing adorable? It only uses two balloons and everybody loves this thing. Let me show you how to make it. For this design, you'll need two balloons. I'll be using a white 260 and a black 260. We're going to start with the body of our sheep. Get your white 260 and inflate it halfway. Let's them out and tie. Give the balloon a squeeze and a stretch. Twist a one inch bubble. Now we want to pinch twist that, so hold on to the knot at the front, pinch it, pull it, and twist it. So you have a one inch bubble pinch twist. Twist a section about three inches long. Now we want another one inch bubble pinch twist. Twist a one inch bubble, fold it over, pinch it, pull it, and twist it. Give the balloon a squeeze and a stretch. Now we want to twist a section that's just past the pinch twist. So if this one's three inches, this one will be about four inches. We're gonna twist this seam here into this pinch twist. And you can see it just sort of hugs over that. There's not a gap in between there at all. That's what we want. We're gonna do that two more times. Give it a squeeze and a stretch, fold it over, twist it just past the pinch twist. Twist, whoops, don't let go of it. Twist this seam here into this pinch twist here. Do that one more time. Squeeze in a stretch, fold it over, just past the pinch twist. Twist this seam here into this pinch twist here. The next thing we want to do is make the eyes of our sheep. So what we want to do is give this a squeeze so we get a little bit of slack in there, not much, but go ahead and twist a nice amount there. So we can push that air back down, but it's not fully inflated. Next, we want to make two one inch bubbles. We're going to twist this seam here to where this bubble here meets the slack. To square off these, we're going to get some more slack. We're going to wrap it through the seam and around once. We're going to get some more slack. Push the air all the way up to the top. Twist a small bubble off. Pop it. Let the air out. And to keep this from coming undone, we're gonna tie the rest of this on the pinch twist in the back. And then we're just gonna hide that inside the body. So what you should have is a pinch twist in the back and a pinch twist in the front and those two one inch bubbles with some slack under them. We need the slack there because the black balloon is gonna go there. Speaking of which, get your black 260 and inflate it halfway. Let them out and tie. Give it a squeeze and a stretch. We wanna make a small flower petal. Take that knot and feed it through the center to keep it from coming undone on us. Twist a two inch bubble. Twist it really good here because we don't want this coming undone on us, because we're gonna squeeze out some slack, and we're gonna wrap that slack into the flower petal. There we have one ear for our sheep. Next, we're gonna do another ear, same as before. Two inch bubble, twist it really good. Squeeze some slack and wrap that slack into that flower petal. So you should have something that looks like this so far. Now comes the tricky part. We want to twist this balloon here, where it meets the flower petal, into this pinch twist. Now that you have that done, we want to take the flower petal and position it between the pinch twist and the two eyeball bubbles. If you left some slack there for the eyes, this should be really easy. If you're having trouble, make sure you leave plenty of slack next time. But you can already sort of see our lamb's face. Isn't he cute? Now it's time for the legs. For the legs, I'm going to twist a two inch bubble, a one inch bubble, another one inch bubble, 
and another two inch bubble. So these two inch bubbles here should be the same size and these two inch bubbles here should be the same size. Now we wanna twist this seam into this white pinch twist here. So you should have front legs that look like that. I'm gonna give myself some slack. And I'm gonna pull that slack to the back pinch twist. It's important when I do this to go over the top and not over the bottom. Now I have the balloon at the back, I need to do my back legs, same as the front. Two inch bubble, one inch bubble, another one inch bubble, another two inch bubble. These two here should be about the same size. These two here should be about the same size. Twist this seam here into this pinch twist. I don't want to tell that long, so I'm gonna twist a small little bubble, about the size I want my tell. I'm gonna twist off a bubble towards the top so I can pop that. Let the air out slowly. And then I can tie that. And to clean it up, I'm gonna take that knot and I'm gonna wrap it into that pinch twist. There we go. Straighten them up. And there we go, one, two balloon sheep. Now it's time for the eyes. I'm gonna use a black Sharpie to draw the eyes on. I'm gonna draw two large circles. And I'm gonna shade those circles in, but I'm gonna leave a small section of the top right corner unshaded. And now our sheep has these really cute big eyes. And we're done with our balloon sheep. Do you like this? Let me know in the comments below. While you're down there, you can tell me what you wanna learn next. Did you enjoy the video? Click that thumbs up button. If you want more balloon animal lessons, check out the playlist here and subscribe to my channel. I'm Michael Floyd, your balloon twister. Remember, anything can be made out of balloons, even balloon sheep. Bye.